Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and uh, I make apps. So today I want to talk about why you should always have your code ready to deploy. Alright, now I know not all of you guys out there make money with ads in your applications, but some of us do and a lot of us use AdMob. And for those of you guys who use AdMob, you may have gotten the email that says AdMob has disabled ads within your application. This has happened to me several times in the past and most of the time I just have to go through and change it. And it happened to me on Sunday morning. So I went to bed Saturday night feeling all good and everything and I woke up Sunday morning to an ad from AdMob and I think, oh please don't be that one, please don't be that one and sure it was. AdMob has disabled ads within your application because they were showing up too often. It, basically what it was was interstitial ads were showing up too often and it may have resulted in accidental clicks. And it was my biggest app, so it was all, you know, still that kind of, ooh. Now in the past when this has happened, all I have to do is make a few changes to the code just to comply with everything and then re-release it. And that's what I had to do this time. I just came into the office, I spent about 20 minutes, just, just removed a few different places where it calls the ads and then resubmitted it, submitted an appeal to AdMob and within 12 hours everything was back going again but luckily the code I had was in a shape that I could just do an immediate release right and it was uh, I was lucky that I didn't have something that it was in partial development with or wasn't sitting with the developers or anything like that I could just open it up make a few changes increase the version number and deploy it right now sometimes this isn't the case sometimes you are you, you've been tinkering with code or you're working on a new feature and if something like that happens you should you would hope you hope and pray that you've checked in the last version into git so like every time you release a code to google play or to ios or anywhere really you should always tag the code like check it into git or subversion or whatever you're using and say this is version 1.4.29 or whatever it is just so that if you have to make that immediate release you can do right because the alternative and this has happened to me before where I needed to make an immediate release and it was with the developers and I said okay we need to release this today I just need to make this one little change they said but we're already working on this new feature so even though we have this emergency situation where we're no longer making money, we have to wait for them to finish this feature and rush something out when we weren't ready, when it wasn't fully tested because they did not check in the last version before we went live. So we couldn't just roll back to that version, make that tweak, change it, and then go back to the version that we were. So this is something that's extremely important. And a lot of you guys out there who are developers, you already know this. But for those of you guys who hire developers and you have, you know, maybe you hired somebody else to do your code, Make sure they're doing this too. Make sure that you always have that code in a, in a state where you can immediately deploy it. Not where it's sitting in Git, not where it's like you could deploy it if you just download everything and change a bunch of libraries and then re-release it. Just see if you can release it again because sometimes you do have those crisis situations. I mean, I was losing money. And, you know, As I laid in bed reading this, I realized I'd been losing money for the last three hours and I just had to get in there and make that change. And, and luckily it wasn't too bad. They were pretty good about that. But you never know. There's always that, that kind of fear that it's going to do. And luckily, mediation took over. So I did was making money on other networks that I wouldn't normally make. But, um, you know, you know it's, it's, it's cool. So anyway, that, let me know. Have you, have you ever got this email? And have, were you able to reestablish those ads? Because most of the time, you shouldn't panic. Just make the changes they asked for. Re-release it. I've, it's happened to me like probably about half a dozen times over the past few years, and it's just something you just have to deal with. So anyway, has this ever happened to you? Please put it in the comments. And that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.